How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews back with a little hot butcher up in this piece in the form of their f deep rinse. I was going to say free rinse. I don't know why. Deep rinse. This is a Centennial Simcoe Amarillo and super sazer hopped cold India Pale Ale. Cold India Pale Ale. Is it cold brewed? I don't know. You don't tell here. It says cold India Pale Ale. Yeah. No boil. That's what I mean by cold brewed. Is that a no-boil IPA? We'll see what's what. Um, they say on the back here with their typical tasting notes, it's candied orange, pleasant pine, and grapefruit zest. Yeah. Dan Jetsa killing it as always in the labels. This actually landed today. I'm getting into this sucker mad fast. Um, clear beer alert? I think we're on clear beer alert right now. Yeah, so I dig that labeling by Dan. Always dig what he does, and I mean, happy clear beer right there, baby. I'm getting equally hot and bothered over the clarity of this beer. I mean, yeah, look at that. A little bit of soft haze to it, nothing too crazy. Soft carbonation, pinky finger, infinite creaminess, and nice kind of fluttering bubbles on top. That looks like an old school IPA, 6.25%. Whole bunch of hops. I'm kind of really excited for this now, to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah, something about it has me hot and bothered. Just dive in a sucker. See what you got. Get a nose. That reminds me of something, and I do not know what, and it's gonna piss me off to no end. By something, I mean another beer. Old school, man. Old school. What is that? Man, that reminds me of something. It's lemon, citrus leaning, pi uh, like pineapple lemon, and that citrus is kind of the biggest portion of the show there. There's a little bit of soft, like, tomato stocky green kind of floating around on the other end. But even, I mean, you can look at it. It's, it's essentially clear beer. It smells like summer. It's crisp. It's clean. It's light. It smells clear. I know you're like, shut your fucking pie hole, man. You can't smell clarity. This smells clear. I'm telling you right now. That's how it comes off. Yeah, I'm just diving in. Cheers. Zippy. It's so zesty zippiness. It's so fun. Yeah, this is old school. This is old. This is an homage to old school, but with new school hops, which kind of makes it just a little bit more electrifying. I mean, crisp and clean. It's it's verging on like lager, and that's kind of where that cold comes from now. Now it kind of makes sense. I think they colched this. They did like a cold fermentation on this. Um as opposed to just doing just a regular fermentation. And that has to be the cold side of the beer um, because it comes off that crisp, that clean. It crashed the crap out of it and just made this kind of, uh, this is more of a imperial extra dry hopped Kolsch than anything else. Not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, but it, it screams of hop zesty zippiness. It's like, like, think, again, when I was describing the fruit that was involved, it's more of how it portrays itself. Zippy, light, just uh, nimble. And then it's very much, um, the, those citrus tones are light and bright. That lemon I talked about, that, that um, pineapple I talked about, they're all kind of there. Now, you do get some kind of berry notes. You do get some kind of tropical fruit in there, but everything comes off very fresh, very light. For the lack of a better descriptor, very much like pledge cleaner kind of in the way that the citrus, not that it comes off caustic or chemical like, but it has this kind of brightness to it that makes you think of those kind of cleaners when you smell them. There's like, whew, they just kind of make you wake up a little bit. And that's kind of the way this beer comes off. Combine that with how crisp and clean it kind of drinks, where it just kind of verges on the edge of that lager thing. It has to be cold fermented. And it's just dry hopped like a monster with a bunch of new school hops and a very, 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 very fun kind of way. Uh, let's put it this way. You guys know there's a little bug floating around here and it's driving me insane. I think I might have got him. Anyway, it's summer. It's officially summer. First first bug in a video on a, on a beer review is this, uh, this year, so it's officially summer. Um, I have, you know, there's, I like hop butcher quite a bit. Um, they sent me beers. They a bunch of beer tubers beers now. That's not why I like them. I just think they're beers. And there's been a lot of hits. There's been some misses. And there's been beers that I really just wasn't a huge fan of, but I liked 
the cut they took. I like the risk they took with the beer. This is one of my favorite beers I've ever made. By far and away. Just the way it drinks, how it expresses itself. The fact that it was had to be lagered, even with an ale yeast, it had to be given lager treatment to come off this clean and crisp and show this much vibrance in the hops. This is fantastic. If someone says this beer sucks, you're a fucking asshole. Because <laughs> this is delicious. Ooh, here's the thing. I feel like a jerk. So if you're watching, um, God, oh, fuck, I forgot his name. Oh, man, I forget names all the time. Anyway, a local guy, we did a handoff of beers. And, um, and by handoff, I mean he handed me off beers. And uh, and uh, I didn't give him anything. And I was like, and like a week later, he went to like upstate New York, and he randomly had some hot butcher up there. And I was like, pick that shit up. And he got it, and he loved it. And I said, you know what, man? Next time they send me extras, I'm going to give you one. You're not getting this, dude. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking bogarting. So I was like, ah, he hooked me up, and he likes hot butcher. Let me spread a little bit of love. I'll give him any kind of extras. And he sent me two of these. Not happening, dude. Just not happening. They sent me two beers and sent me two of each beer. So if the other one's good, you might get that one. But this one's all me, baby. Because this shit is top notch. What can I say? I'm Scrooge McDuck like that. Uh, let's talk about this. One of the better IPAs that I've had is like 6.2%, uh, 2.5%, uh, crisp clean, not soupy, hop forward, Merriam Webster Dictionary IPA for me. Because uh, those ABVs have been creeping up. Some people's like 7.8% IPA. I'm like, no, that's double IPA. Is one of the better IPAs I've had. Is like, yes, Mount Rushmore status. I love this beer so much. I want it all, and I want it now. Um, Bagged availability, no idea. Um, I, if you give me this for less than 15 bucks a four pack, I'm in all day. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this beer? If you like old school IPA, you like new school IPA, and you want something in between, it is delicious. It's fantastic. If you don't like it, I will punch you in the face you're wrong so there you go <sighs> opinionated beer review in the books isn't that they all are though hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and hopefully you guys enjoyed your review hopefully enjoying a little bit of a hot butcher right now hope to see you next time cheers